Chef Claude here with your tip of the week. Uh, today I want to share some information on how to maintain the spritzer tube inside your hydrovection, your combi, or your boilerless combi. And you may find customers that may get them clogged from grease laden fat, chicken, bacon, sausage, and they're not cleaning on a daily basis. Um, and they're not getting any steam anymore. It's as simple as cleaning the tubes, and I'd like to show you how to do that. I have removed the wire grids and the air baffle, and now you clearly can see the T spritzer tube, okay? And, um, and down here is, right here is the brass uh, fitting. It's about a half, it's a half inch. Okay, now we're gonna use the half inch wrench to turn and unlock this brass bolt and once you get it unlocked there a little bit, there we go, you can use your fingers to unscrew, there we is, and it'll come right out with about five or six turns. Once you get this spritzer tube out, let your customer know that they can soak this in oven cleaner and then rinse it off. If you have any baked on grease or fat stuck in the tube, um, you can use a thumbtack or a pin like I have here and just open the fat, take the little fat out and that'll open it wide open for spritzing again. This is a brass compression fitting at the end of the T spritzer. And what's important here is that if we clean this with um, oven cleaner or any type of detergent is to thoroughly rinse it properly before you put it back in. Now we're gonna reinstall the spritzer tube and you wanna get the positioning just right. As you go to put it back, you wanna be mindful that the T connector is right above this thermostat right here. Now we're just gonna tighten this up with your thumb until it gets nice and tight and as tight as you can with your, your hand and then use this half inch wrench to finish the job and tighten it up nice and tight. Now as reps it's important for you to inform your customers that if they clean the unit every day they won't get it blocked up but if they do a lot of bacon, sausage, chicken and things like that and it does get clogged up, you just remove it, it's removable, and clean it, put it right back in and you're ready to go. So it's important as a reps to keep your customers informed of how to maintain the oven so that they get the most usage out of it.